Welcome back to Planet Coaster, guys. I am so, so glad that you all enjoyed last episode. It seems to be pretty overwhelming that this is a series that we're going to be continuing and continuing to enjoy because it seems like pretty much everybody enjoyed that episode, which is really, really awesome. In fact, I haven't, I haven't found anyone who haven't, hasn't enjoyed this game. It's just such an awesome, awesome game. So what I want to do is I want to start off today with obviously a big thank you for all the crazy support. And not only that, I also want to get started on our very first themed ride, I think you could call it, like a themed themed thing, because this one here was just a very basic one that we've kind of done stuff with. And I want to start off with some stuff that I've learned between last episode and this episode, because a really cool thing that I found out from you guys since the last episode is how many people have gone ahead and got themselves the game, or at least want to get themselves the game as well, which is super, super cool. And I am, I am honored to have been able to show you guys such an awesome game. So what I want to do here is I want to just go around and I've got a really cool little trick here. You can see we've got these these curved stairs. Do you see that? That is something I was messing around with. Well, I, I was just messing around in settings here. And right around down here in the paths, we've got this curved slopes. And we've also got the ability to get rid of these, rid of these railings, which I really should have. I should have done that a bit earlier, but that's all right. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off today with our very first themed build which is going to be i'm guessing which a ride which i really want to get which is this one over here we're eventually going to put it in its spot but i thought it would be a good idea to just get started off with the actual buildings whoa that's a really really big path um why is it why am I, why oh, i'm in i'm not in cues that's why i was wondering why it changed randomly on me so that'll probably be the entrance to this i thought it'd be really really cool to have this path going up here snaking along and my thought is as you walk into this park all you see is these rides on this side, on this side, and a castle sort of thing up there. I thought that would be really, really awesome, and it'll also allow me to show you a few of the cool little building tricks and uh, maybe some things that I've learned, because, I mean, obviously I don't know everything in this game. This game is just crazy. Um, I hope you guys can tell. It's just a crazy, awesome, large game. But there's a few little tricks that I've learned already, and I would love to be able to share them with you guys. Is that going to be good? Yeah. Okay, cool. So what I want to do is I want to start off with our very first theme build, as I say, and it's going to be a bit of a castle sort of thing going up this way. We're going to have these stairs going around here. Walk up, the, well, as you walk up the stairs, you see the, the ride itself. It kind of hides itself, and as you get to the top here, you can see it, and you're just waiting in the queue, and I think it'll be really cool as a, as a means of decorating this area as well. We'll be able to do a lot of cool stuff, and I hope to show you a lot of really, really cool things. First of all, what I want to do is I want to make a little bit of a, a flower bed here, and also, what I've what I've learnt is I can turn this off, turn off the railing on elevated. We should be able to get rid of these railings because I want I want this to be a step up and then a step up, and I don't want it to look as hollow on the inside here. And that's the beauty of this is we can really do what whatever we want. So let's go into this building, and we're gonna add in maybe maybe let's instead of starting with a flower bed, I was thinking of just a flower bed in there, and let's show everything one over there. What we can do is we can also go ahead and put in a wall back here, and I'm not too sure on the sizing. Yeah, so that's going to be very interesting. You see that? So we've got a wall there, and we've got a wall there. Let's let's take that down a bit. All right, that's not too bad. I know we are intersecting there, but it's all right. That means we've got opportunities to make some really cool, well, have some really cool ideas and make some really cool things. So I want to make this whole place look like it's all bricked up. Let's go ahead and cover this area off here and make a garden bed in the middle. And by the way, I uh, I really don't have much of an idea of the the overall scale of well the scale that we're gonna go with in this park, but it's really really awesome just to see what we can come up with on the fly and kind of just do things like what I what I'm used to doing it just whatever whatever comes to my mind at the time we're just gonna do it that's that's the way it's gonna go and that's the the best way I think of doing most things. In fact, I enjoy most of these things. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna do this with some of these. Uh, I think these are called crenellations. I'm pretty sure. I, I might be very wrong, uh, but these sorts of things here, these little holes in the in the building there, I think those are called crenellations. But we'll we'll just leave them there. And I think it'll be really awesome if we do this. We have a little bit of a a garden bed in there, and then we have some I don't know what you would call them, just normal seating areas, benches, but a bit more a bit more extravagant over there. And what I might just do now, because of course I'm going to do this, I'm going to go ahead and just place a lot of things. Get the basic shape of this laid out, but I'll tell you what I'm thinking. I'm thinking as we walk up here, maybe you can see what I'm, maybe I can give you some perspective. We're going to have these things over here with maybe a bit of decoration on them. We're going to have, I think, two towers, one over there, one over there. And the reason I'm saying that is I don't think this wall is going to work over here. So we're going to probably put something over there to detract from the stairs 
uh, to distract from the stairs being not too straight and not too easy for us to work with. I think they'll work really, really cool. And it'll also just make it look a bit more tower, like a, a bit more like a tower and a bit more like a proper structure. So what I'll do right now is I'll go ahead, add all this stuff in, and I'm also probably going to change the lighting around to this side over here. So let's just go around there, let these lights come on, and probably go around 10 a.m. There you have it guys, look at that. Looking pretty damn good if I say so myself. I, uh, I've just gone ahead, I said I was going to do the main shape, but I, I realized I got a bit carried away there. Because, of course, it all kind of just molds into one thing, the next thing leads onto the next thing. And you can't stop yourself, that is the nature of this game. You really just can't stop yourself from playing it. You just keep wanting to do more, adding more little details. And in fact, I feel like we could go a whole next level on this thing, adding in little little pieces over here, little spikes, I don't want you to call them little, I, I could think of them, but I can't, there's a word, there's a word, don't worry. Uh, but yeah, adding little things like that, I also, by the way, tried to get in a little bit of colour here, that's actually a blue colour over there, believe it or not. It looks a little bit grey, but it's, uh, it's a very light blue, I really like that. So, this is the very basic idea that I had, and it's, uh, it's a nice little builder, I think. Obviously, from the side here, we can't forget that we eventually have to make this look pretty. And then what we'll do is we'll, we'll eventually add a fountain or something in here, move this along this way and, and let me actually show you a little cool trick neat little trick before i go any further this is something i learned it's a, i don't even know if it's a, a a bug or if what it is but clicking like that and then removing it makes that like little circle bit you see that makes it a little bit more curved than what it is i think i can do that there yeah look at that really cool so now we've got like a bigger area there and I, I think, as far as I'm aware, that's not meant to happen, but it does, and it looks cool, and we're going to keep it. So let's go ahead and add in the ride right now, because I want to carry on with a few more other things. And by the way, before I forget, uh, look at this. This queue is going really, really well, so we can maybe bump this up a little bit. And I've actually almost forgotten <laughs> that we're playing in a, in a survival equivalent, the challenge mode, you know, that we've got to be making money to build stuff. I've just been building... At the very low speed, we're actually in simulation speed zero. Uh, simulation speed zero, really. Was one. O is the number you press to make it, uh, the key you press to make it go a bit faster. And really, this has done pretty well for me, I think. So let's go ahead and quickly double check on our park. We need more rides. Okay, we're gonna sort that out right now. So this is this is just our guest thoughts. We gotta check up on how our staff members doing. You guys all right? Uh, Rayleigh's Rayleigh Luther's not doing too well. How about how we get we train Rayleigh? And I think we're making enough money. I'm not really too concerned about the money right now. Oh, not doing too good in April. Probably a bit too much building. Uh, but we, we should be all right. We're making enough money to maybe bump Rayleigh's salary up a little bit. Because, I mean, we have to manage this park sometimes. 
and a Bram Moffat. Yeah, you just get you just get a little bit of a raise. There we go. The 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 milkshake guy. They're all right. Whoever that is, I didn't actually read the name. I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, let's carry on. So we're gonna add the ride in that I was planning on adding in, and that is gonna be this one here. What is this called? It's called the Psychola. But oh, you know what? This is actually gonna be really cool. I'm just thinking we could actually try and line this up over here, right over there, and then one little neat thing is when you hold shift you should be able to pull it up a bit and bam like that now the next question will be is this high enough no uh, in fact let's just try let's just try placing the entrance no it's not quite high enough but we can go ahead m and lift it up a little bit actually i like that little the little stairs that were coming on there there we ah oh, no it didn't it didn't work all right we'll try that again one more time Get this up over there, shift, get my stairs, where are my stairs, put my stairs on there please. Wonderful, we got our stairs there. And we'll have to fill the void here, and by the way, you guys know, I mean, I, I'm sure most of you guys have probably been to a uh, theme park or something along these lines. There's always these little annoying areas where people throw their rubbish, and I, I absolutely hate that, but for some reason, people always do that, and these people, I don't trust these guys. As I said in the last episode, we've got... A whole bunch of bins around here because if they don't find a bin they just throw their stuff on the ground it's horrible uh, so I'm gonna be filling this area up I mean of course they they'll be all right there is no exit for this oh my gosh and insanity 2 is breaking down again man things things are happening in this park I'll tell you that we'll just put this over here temporarily we'll do a little path up there let's do that that actually looks really cool <laughs> as a matter of fact I almost really like that path like very very much this is a mistake but i think we're gonna leave this yeah let's leave it wonderful so we'll have this little entrance here going down perfect that's the way we're gonna do things we're gonna do things by mistake and we'll have it work for us so i think while we're doing this and a little trick by the way if you guys do want to be playing this game as quickly as possible as efficiently as possible your best bet is to get a few more rides than what i've done in the beginning i'm just kind of relaxing playing the game building because i love the building in this game and that's just what we pretty much do in the whole way through here. And I thought it'd be really cool. Why is this? Look at that. Really cool to just keep building. But that's a, an annoying little piece there. But yeah, we'll just keep going with this. Building things. Having fun. And let's check these guys go up the up this area. Let's check if they're enjoying it. Actually, I don't even know what the scenery rating is on this thing. Already at 100%. <laughs> Alright. No surprise. Look at that. Going up the stairs. How about we go on board with someone? Uh... Sally McNamara, you are my... Actually, no, you're a bit too far away. Sorry, Sally. Uh, we'll go with uh, Craig David. Ooh, interesting name. And here we go. That's uh, that's like a, a famous person, isn't it? I'm, I'm pretty sure I've heard that name before. Let's go up here. Craig is really not having a good day. Okay, there we go. This is a cool little thing. You get to go on board with these people and uh, and see what they look like in the, in the queue. Look at this. Looking around. Please look to the right. No, not interested in looking to the right, but that's all right. But it's really, really neat. I like this little feature walking around. You can actually get on the ride with people as well. So we can maybe just go out of here while Craig's waiting. We'll go around there. And by the way, actually, let me let me just show you this. Go back, back with Craig. These little details that are added here. Look at everyone kind of being a bit fidgety in the queue. Standing around, looking around, shrugging their shoulders. Look at that guy scratching the back of his neck. They look at their nails. It's just crazy. It's, it's pretty awesome. And by the way, prepare for this. Prepare yourselves. We're not going to be on here very long. It really kind of gives you that like disorienting feeling i'm not going to do it i'm not very good on these things uh but that really like disorientated feeling that you get being on a ride what look at that okay we have to bump this price way up let's go eight dollars i feel like that's not enough so here's a little thing right so we're going to carry on building i've got a little bit distracted but you know i'm having, I'm having a good time on this game so i'm just going to keep keep doing stuff uh but here's a little thing right so i can put this over here and i'd really like to get rid of this middle piece but sadly, as you can see, I can't intersect with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my settings and I'm fairly certain that this over here, where is game, there should be a disable scenery collision. I think that is the one or disable ride collision. I think that let's just click both of those. One of those will allow us. I'm fairly certain it should allow us to be able to place something like this in the middle here. And it kind of feels a little bit cheaty for me to do it, but I do 
I do think it'll add to the park, and I think it'll make it really, really cool. And it's not like you're cheating in the game, but you, you're just letting everything work really cool. I thought that would be really cool. We can make our own thing to look like it's spinning in the middle here and decorate this whole thing. Maybe even make our own cover and everything. So I'm going to be playing with that setting on. That's a really cool setting, a really neat setting to have. So let's carry on with the next building phase that I've got. So over here, I've said so way too many times. I've got to calm myself down. Calm yourself down, Jazzy. Here's a trick, all right? So placing that there, this little pillar, the wooden post, the one meter tall wooden post, allows us to do a lot of really magical things. And this is what I've learned about with this building. Placing that, and then for instance, placing a, uh, let's go up here. I want to, because by the way, I'm doing these towers that I was talking about. So placing a pillar like this and pressing F, we'll always put in the center of the block, you can see there, like that, just to get the height. I think that'll be a, a good height because what we're going to do is we're going to be putting in a tower right around here and a little one right around here and of course scale is not too important in these sorts of builds it's more the look that we're going for and, and that's what i've kind of learned with this game is you always have to just kind of think a bit outside the box and if you think something looks a bit too large a bit too small it's probably not as bad as what you think it is so let's go around here and i'm actually going to do that and go Control x and then place that so that that is actually going to be in the middle, in the very center of that block. Then I can just lift it up without any trouble. There we go. So that's perfect in the middle. And these are some building tips, I guess, that I've I've picked up from watching different videos and playing around the game. Uh, these are really, really useful. And now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and start adding in a little bit of a structure here. So we've got our own little towers that we can just move into the place and we can duplicate them and make them work really, really well for us. So let's go and make this... Ooh, this is actually a six. So this is like a hexagonal thing. I thought it was an octagon, but that's all right. There we go. We'll, we'll put that one over there. And I guess now, because I, as I said, this was a hexagon, not a, an octagon. We moving in increments of 15 degrees. We'll need to go one, two, three, four. I think that should be 60 degrees if I'm correct. Yeah, 360 divided by, yeah, no, never mind. Just doing, doing maths on the fly here, but that's all right. We'll... We'll keep it there and then we'll do another one of these and we'll go actually let's not duplicate that one let's duplicate that one right there and this is the way this game goes it's just a very simple sort of place things like this do some really crazy builds have fun with it and i'm i'm definitely having fun with it let me tell you that uh one two three four can i get it wonderful and that's just the, the way I've been doing these things, getting these bigger builds. And I'm really looking forward to getting a, a really, really large one out of the way, a massive build. I don't know what it's going to be just yet, but we, we're going to have to do something. If you've got some suggestion, please, I would love to know what, you, what you're thinking of, what would be a really cool build to have. I'm thinking a really large castle, of course, has to happen. That, that's that's a, a given. But maybe there's something interesting that you guys want to see built in this game that I can hopefully give a go, see if I can do it myself. I, uh, I would love to, love to challenge myself to something weird in this. Let's get that over there. What I think I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to get through all of this stuff and I'll just place these things around and I'll show you what's going on once I've got this sort of set in stone and ready to go. There we are. That's what we've got here. Very, very basic little thing. I've really almost just, uh, well, I've literally just turned these things around put on a little window and everything seems to be exactly how I want it. So what we're going to do here, and this is a little a neat trick that I've learned today. And that is once I've done one half of something or a quarter of something for this one, I've done a half of it. I'm going to just copy this whole piece over, but it's easy enough to just kind of do that and not copy in a grid piece. But when you copy in a grid piece, you know what I was talking about with these, these little blocks over here. If I didn't have that, let me just unselect that. And I'll show you what I mean. If I duplicate these that, these items that I've got, what else do I have? Uh, I think I've got something extra in here somewhere. Let me get rid of that there. Okay, it turns out I've got something else which is not allowing me to do it. But let me just select everything here. Just because, of course, it's going gonna, it's gonna to work. So I'm going to go Control D and duplicate this whole thing. And then I'm going to like just flip it around like that. Easy. Oh, no. There we go. I've just flipped this whole thing around and copied everything exactly how it is over here. And I haven't had to do much at all. And that was a really, really neat little thing. Oh, that's not what I want. A really, really neat little thing to learn because it means I don't have to mess around trying to get everything as accurate as possible. I could just go ahead and simply do that. Just <laughs> click it around, keep it around there, and uh, that's all I need to do. So here we go. This is what I was thinking. A thing over here, right around there. 
Let's check that out. Oh, that's looking so good. I don't know how a second one's actually going to look here, but it might might work. Is that in the way? Um, yeah, she kind of walked through it. Let's let's do this a little bit here. We'll go Control X and and use these things. Let's check what goes on there. By the way, before I forget, oh no, I just copied it. Uh, before I forget, thank you everybody. I, I did mention a bit earlier for all the, the crazy awesome support on the last video, but really, really, thank you very, very much for um for just liking the video. It's very much appreciated. I never really ask for it, but uh, whenever I do, I whenever you do, I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And last episode, uh, definitely got a lot more likes than the average video, and I I can't thank you guys enough for that. And of course, as per usual, if you if you do, that shows me that you guys enjoy the enjoy the episodes, you enjoy watching this stuff, and I'll definitely keep keep doing it. I'll definitely keep it up, and it definitely does help me. It does indicate to me whether or not it's being enjoyed. In fact, by the way, this thing here, do I want to put these at different levels? I think I do. I'll tell you why I want to do this at different levels. Because it creates a little bit like of a... It gets rid of this flatness. You see that all straight, same level sort of thing. That just breaks it up very, very well. I love it. Actually, that is really, really good. That's very, very good. I'm I'm very happy with that, in fact. But besides that, guys, I think it's all around looking very, very good. I'd like to have got a bit more done around this area, but you know what? We can actually leave that for another episode of what we are, what we are going to do. So pretty much my thoughts are get something cool in the middle here. We'll block that off. Still have these things going around, of course, but make it look cool enough. And besides that, just get this whole area here looking really, really good. But as I say, that'll be all for today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed yet another episode of Planet Coaster. Before we go, let's just be really, really uh, stingy and bump that up to $10. Make our money. Look at that queue. We're going we're gonna to be making money off that queue. Uh, but thank you very, very much for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.